Hi guys, this is Gaz from Radiant Silver Labs and this is just a small tutorial for anyone who ever wanted to make their own Spectrum .tap file which could be, gone, could be put on a tape or loaded in an emulator. So, first thing you want is this piece of software image to ZX Spec 1.3.1 Basically what this does is makes a slideshow for you um, and what I'm, well, all I'm doing here is using this to make the slideshow but also showing how to do a custom intro too which is what I was struggling to do so if you go to choose input files pick the image you actually want which is the one on the left here one on the right is what I'll get um, and I specified some colors here ink and paper and the most important thing is to tip, uh, tick tape slideshow export so that's how you get your dot tap which would run on a real specky or on um, an emulator which I'm going to show now here you have to go to custom and specify your own tap um, which I've pr prepared earlier but I'm going to show you in a second so there's my loader so what you're actually doing there is specifying a custom loader for the uh, intro of the slideshow and then once that's done you can just hit convert and you'll see it has generated here a file called image to ZX spec.tap I'll just change that to genocide full this is for a little easter egg in my game actually and then if I drag uh, genocide full into spectaculator you can see it actually loads it like a real game just knock the volume down there loads it like a real spectrum app and you can see I've got a little bit of text here, a lovely easter egg for you, if you're reading this you're insane. Um, after, I think it's, what, how many seconds did I put in? I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. Then it will go on to displaying an image as well. And that's it. It's just your own little spectrum uh, tap file. And what I'm going to do is save this out as a WAV eventually. Hide that in my game somewhere secret and one day if someone hears it they maybe they'll sample it and then convert it back into a tap and play it on a real spectrum or in an emulator and they will see this just as a simple easter egg so just a crazy idea for the ultimate easter egg really as you can see it's developing the image that I um, specified so what I'm going to do here is show you the code that does that, which is just the Spectrum Basic code, right? You can actually get this from uh, the website for Image to Spec. If you, if you Google uh, GitHub and Image to Spec and you find the GitHub for this page, uh, there is actually a file called simple.bas, basic. I literally just took it, changed some words here. Um, I put pause 1000 in and I removed the, the requirement for input right because it asked you how many uh, seconds you want between frames and stuff like that which is cool but I just wanted it to happen automatically and I just want one frame really because I don't want the file to go on forever so you take that text file there and then you need another tool called um, bass to tap which was quite hard to find, but if you, if you Google Buster Tap 25-win, you should be able to find that. And so what we're doing here is we're making the loader, right? So we're, we're compiling or converting the genocide loader.bass, which is based on simple.bass, into um, genocide loader.tap. So if you use that line there exactly as it is, and you can see there I've got uh, dash A. You need dash A, otherwise it won't auto boot. You need dash s. Um, if you want to change the name, that is, you need dash s, dash s, and then you need to write the name of the program, which I've just called Gen Dolp. There, and there is no space. And when you hit that, that will actually generate the tap file here. As you can see, it's just been made. If I refresh that, yeah, that's the loader tap that I specify in here. Oh, you see it loses the pathway, I didn't even need to do that. That's annoying that, but eh, it's fine. And then, you know, just what I did before, which is the conversion. 
about that. So yeah, that's how you make your own little tab file that actually runs. And I did it once before and I completely forgot how to do it, so I just wasted pretty much my whole day trying to remember <laughs> how to do it again. Um, and that should be it. And there's the finished product, which I think is pretty awesome. Love to see it run on a real spectrum. Love for someone to find it one day. Of course, it might not be that secret given that I'm mentioning it on my YouTube channel here, but I doubt anyone uh, will watch this anyway. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching.